So I have this really cool idea. Let's make a light bulb. Oh yeah. You are going to be making one of these in today's lesson. We're going to start our light bulb by creating a cylinder. Go to create. There is a function called cylinder. And we're going to choose the floor plane. And I'm going to start right here in the center and click and drag out. And or I can just type out 30, 30 millimeters. The other dimension will be the height of my cylinder. I could uh, roll it out like that, or I could just type in 40. So a diameter of 30 and a height of 40 millimeters. What I'm going to do next is add a construction line to the top of this. A construction line isn't a normal line like a geometric line. Construction line is just a guide. So I'm going to click, uh, or excuse me, type L, the keyboard shortcut for line, and I'm going to choose the up and down path here. And I'm going to start right here at the top and go up 20 millimeters. All right. So now if I zoom in, let's escape that. If I zoom in, I see that I have this beautiful construction line. Well, it's not a construction line yet. We need to click it and then the keyboard shortcut X. And now it's a construction line. It is a dashed line. And then I'll go to finish sketch. Let me zoom out to the home view. All right, there we go. So with this construction line as a reference, I will then create a sphere. Oops, I accidentally clicked something. I will create a sphere. And I'm gonna use this point here as my guide. There we go. And I want my diameter to be 61 millimeters. And I want it to join. So it's going to join the cylinder and create one uh, singular body. All right, looks good so far. And I'll press OK. I'm actually going to go ahead and create uh, a different appearance for this top part of the bulb. So if I just two finger click and go to appearance, I can add this plastic look to it. We'll say this is an LED light bulb, so we'll have a plastic appearance. Okay, looks like a pretty good LED light bulb so far. And then I'll press escape to get out of there. So this is starting to look like a light bulb, but this part needs a little bit more of a taper. It's a little too immediate change. So I'm going to click on the rim of the cylinder, and I'm going to type F for fill it. And I'm going to fill it this 45 millimeters. Okay, and I'll press OK. We're also going to add a fillet at the bottom. So I'm going to choose this, type F, and we're going to make this, we'll make it four for now. We might change that though. The next thing we'll do is create the threading at the bottom of the light bulb. To do this, we need to first create a cylinder. And we're going to choose this plane here as our dimension. I'm going to click in the center here and just go outwards. It should snap to 22 millimeters. That's where the, that's where the current fillet ends. If it doesn't snap, you can just type in 22. Okay. And then this is going to be 15 millimeters. Now before I continue, I need to change this to new body. We don't want to join this to the rest of it. This is going to be a separate body because it's going to have a different material. It won't be plastic or glass like the rest of the bulb. So push OK. And Fusion 360 has a built-in threading that has all these built-in um, standards for, for threading. So we're going to create a thread and the face of that will be of course this cylinder and we're going to model this so we can see what it actually looks like. Now here the threading are all these uh, templates for standard threading sizes. The one for light bulbs 
is called ansiometric M. And we're going to keep it at 22 by 3. We're going to take this full length off. Uh, and we're going to offset it by 3 millimeters. All right? Everything else we're going to keep the same. So it's starting to really look like a light bulb. Now the bottom doesn't look quite right. And that's where we use another tool, a new tool, called chamfer. Chamfer creates a beleveled edge. I'll explain what that is as we do it. We go to create, um, excuse me, modify. We go to chamfer. We're going to choose this face, the bottom face, or excuse me, not the face, the edge. And we're going to set our chamfer distance to 5. I still think there needs to be a metal contact here at the bottom. So to create that bottom metal contact, we're going to add yet another cylinder. I'm going to choose this face as my dimension. Click in the middle origin and slowly go outwards. Now we want it to be not quite all the way to the edge. It should be around 10.1, something like that. 10.1, press enter, and our height is just going to be 2 millimeters. And of course, we need to chan for this as well, because it doesn't quite look right. Let's chan for that. Modify chan for. Okay, we've already selected the edge, and this one's going to be a 2 millimeter chan for. There we go. Is it? Look like a light bulb yet? Almost, huh? First, take a look at this area right here. I think this fillet is not enough. Okay, I can actually go back into my timeline and change that fillet. So this fillet right here, as you can see that it uh, highlights, I can two finger click and edit feature. And that was a fillet. I wanna make that fillet a little bit more. I'm gonna change it to five. And I think that looks just a little bit nicer than four. Okay, the lesson here is you can always edit features using your timeline. Finally, we want to make this whole light bulb white, like frosted glass or plastic. So if I click on this area, this area, and this area, and I two finger click, I go to appearance, I can put that appearance, apply that appearance to this. And there we go. We have ourselves an awesome looking light bulb.